Hey everyone, it's Jolt here. I want to show you something truly special today. So you're probably all aware of Excalibur scripts. So for example, here I can install a new script. I just click on the script library and I type in Boolean operations. I love this script. This is super powerful. So I install the script. And once the script is installed, I can run it. It gets an icon. And in this case, I can, for example, create the union of these two selected elements. And voila, I got this amazing shape with just a single click. And as you saw, there are many, many scripts here. I have my favorites at the top and there are lots of scripts available. But of course, it may happen that the script you want doesn't exist. And I created something that will give you a true superpower. So let me show you how it works. We're going to create a script that is going to do something like this. I just created this script called Layer Manager. Essentially, what Layer Manager does is you are able to define layers in Excalidraw and you can hide layers and show layers as well as you can, of course, add new elements to a new layer. So for example, I want to add this as, let's say this is going to be layer two like this. And from now on, I have layer two, layer three and layer one. And of course, I can then come here and unlock this layer, for example, then I can move the elements around, I can lock it again, and then I can select a different layer. This just gives you so much flexibility. But the point is not the script itself, but how I created it. So let me show you and walk you through this process. And it all starts here. Let me find my Explorer, I created a training library for Excalibur Automate that I placed on GitHub. I'm going to place this link in the video description so it's easy to find for you. So if you click here, then it's going to open a training file. This is a huge file. You can see here, it just goes on endlessly. So this is step number one. What you need to do with this is you need to select everything and then copy this to the clipboard. Once you're done with this, I recommend using Gemini, Google's AI studio for training your uh, or for generating the script. You'll find a Gemini, you'll find the link here, but you'll find AI studio here. Why Gemini? For two reasons. One, Gemini AI Studio is available free of charge. So you can use this and you don't need to have a subscription. And second, and this is the more important one, Gemini allows a super big so-called context window, which means that the entire training file can stay within memory. So this is a size of input that ChatGPT simply isn't able to handle. You can see this is 300,000 tokens. This is roughly the double the size of the biggest JGPT. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe now the newer version has larger windows, but still this is a huge uh, size. So I click run. So I just simply pasted whatever was here on that link, this training data into here and I click run. And it's going to take a little while. Uh, while it runs, let me show you my prompt. So I created this prompt. Uh, I have here a recommended additional step if you want to use the um, chat engine to help you improve on your prompt. But I'm pretty happy with this prompt. Let me read it for you. So help me create a layer manager in Excalibur. I want to create multiple layers by locking various elements in the scene and tagging them with a layer ID such as layer one, two, and three. 
create a floating window that includes images of the elements in each of the layers as separate rows. Each layer preview should use the scene background color. The layer manager should allow me to one lock or unlock each layer, two show or hide each layer, three remove the layer. When the layer manager is first opened, it should initialize layers, lock statuses and visibility. I want to add elements to a layer by selecting elements in the scene and pressing add layer. The layer previews with the lock, unlock, hide, unhide and remove layer buttons should be in a scrollable view. The maximum height of the floating window should not exceed 500 pixels. Uh, there should be three buttons at the bottom, unlock all, add to layer, refresh. So I crafted this prompt just simply explaining what I want to do. So I'm now going to copy this to my clipboard and I'm going to head over here. The way the training file is created, I'll show you right here in the beginning, is it is instructed Okay, this is now a bit too big, but here it's instructed to read the information below and respond with I'm ready. And that's exactly what AI Studio did. It responded I'm ready, but it's now trained on every possible information to be successful at generating Excolidro scripts in Obsidian. And my experience with this has been phenomenal. So I'm now copying that script over here and I'm going to create or click run. And pretty much, I wouldn't say all the time. So there are some times when I get a less good solution. But in that case, you run it again and you're most likely are going to get a good solution or you can ask the engine to help you refine your prompt and create a better solution that way. So that also works. Also, if you run into an error, then you can ask, you can provide the feedback to GPT or AI Studio, and then it's going to improve on it. But right now, let's see what happens. So AI Studio is generating this long code, and let's see how it works. So I'm just going to click here, copy to clipboard. I'm going to head back to Excolidraw. I'm actually going to create a new scene for us. So I'm just creating a new empty drawing. And here I'm going to remove the previous layer manager. So I'm deleting the one I showed you in the beginning that I did as a practice session and I pasted the new code. And keep fingers crossed, I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm going to create a couple of elements here and start layer manager. And of course, why would it? Nothing happens. Unexpected token, obsidian, MD, whatever. Okay, so I am just going to simply copy this error message. I'm going to come here and provide this response to the engine and let's hope it gets it right. Previously, of course, before I recorded this video, the script didn't work uh, first time 100% right, but at least on the first run, it, the, the feature actually worked. And then I had to provide one improvement recommendation and the engine got it right. But let's just, let's just see. Okay. So uh, we are going to wait for this to generate the code again. And, and by the way, what did I do here? So I'm going to copy this over. So the way I got this window here is I pressed uh, command sh uh, control shift I or, uh, and now I forgot, I think it's command option I on a Mac. I can open the developer console and look at the messages. But now we have the new layer manager. So I'm just going to come over here and paste the new code. Keep fingers crossed. Let's start layer manager. 
and now the layer manager at least opens it's a floating window so far so good let's add the layer so i want to create a new layer this is going to be layer one let's click add so layer one was added it's right there i can unlock it and lock it i can hide it and unhide it so far so good so let's add layer two this is going to be layer two add layer i want to create a new layer layer two i'm going to add this here and it's not good because it added elements to the same layer interestingly this was the same error in the previous script i created as well so let me just explain that um, when i create a new layer I created layer one and added elements. It was successful. I then selected new elements in the scene and clicked add layer and selected add new layer and gave it a new layer name but the layer but instead of creating a new layer elements elements were added to the previous layer actually but in uh, a new layer was created layer two but layer one was um uh, but all the elements from layer one were also added to the new layer two and layer one disappeared from the list of layers okay hopefully this is going to be enough so let's see and so the point i want to demonstrate here is first of all i think this is already pretty cool so the the script that was created and the functionality you see here and the speed at which this was created is already mind-blowing but i also want to show you how you can just iterate with ai studio a little bit and it's going to figure out what the the problem is and you're going to get to a a good solution here so let's just look at this okay so here's our script again i'm going to copy this to clipboard come back here i'm going to delete the previous one by the way this i'm adding this to the beginning because this way the code is going to get syntax highlighting this is just my trick so this is a, a javascript comment and i'm adding this code block here within the comment you don't need to close the code block but as a result the code will read with syntax highlighting in obsidian keep fingers crossed so let's start layer manager so we have our layer two of course so this is the previous layer but let's see if now i add these elements and add to layer so this is going to be now layer one yay you can see i have layer one and i have layer two let's hide layer two let's hide layer one let's unlock layer one and i'm going to add this diamond and i'm going to add the diamond to layer one now let's see okay so the locking doesn't work perfectly but now if i lock this then the diamond is locked as well i can now 
add this circle maybe and I'm going to add this to create new layer layer 3 and it's added to layer 3 and I think this is amazing now if if I want to send items to the back or the front of course we could also prompt the engine to allow me to move layers around right now what I would need to do is I select layer 2 I select all the elements in layer 2 and bring them to the front and then lock layer 2 and with that layer 2 is at the top I think this is just simply amazing not only that now I have a layer manager for Excolid Raw but the simplicity of creating this so I hope that this gives you yet another powerful way to get the maximum out of Excolidraw in Obsidian. Excolidraw Automate is a true superpower. There's almost nothing you cannot script with Excolidraw Automate in terms of AI integration, in terms of all sorts of clever automations. You can create automated event handlers. There's lots of things you can do one of my demo projects of what you can do with Excolidraw Automate is indeed Excoli Brain, but of course you can see all of the scripts in the script library. So I think that's all I wanted to share in this video. Again, the starting point is here. I'm going to place this in the description below and then use Gemini, use the prompt or the training material that I store on GitHub and go and create something special. Share in the comments below the different scripts that you created. If you create something super useful and you think others would love it as well, you can create a pull request and you can submit it as a script and I'm happy to add it to the script store. Let's make Excolidraw in Obsidian even more powerful, even more fun. Enjoy.